What's happening? What's going on? Hope you are having a fantastic day, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and it is another exciting episode. Today, I'm going to get into a couple of Easter eggs that Supercell has or is planning to put into the game or might or might not in the future. Obviously, uh, we'll get to that in just a moment, but today's episode is going to be a rambling mess of me answering comments and the salt level is going to get real okay so i just warn you guys i do tend to get salty in the comments with people so if you want to get down there you are more than welcome even if you fall into the trolls and idiots category which a lot of people admitted they did okay first things first a little correction and i wanted to say that supercell make man the way that they have this program set up right now if you go to make.supercell.com you could potentially earn up to 50 thousand dollars for a skin idea or a village scenery idea that eventually gets implemented in clash of clans i think that is amazing and i did not know that it's actually difficult to find that information but i put it there in the screenshot so that i hope you guys now know and i definitely support and i'm glad that i bought those sceneries and skins uh, for those artists okay uh into the comments now i will tell you that when it comes down to progress bases everybody should make their own the way they want to lay it out that is the great thing about progress bases it is designed for you to organize your buildings and troops and walls however you see fit and there is no right or wrong way thank you for the criticism of my lab but it is in the right place Quickly, I wanted to cover those that are disliking my videos and somebody that was really concerned that people are disliking my videos and why do they do that? Well, this is a really actually cool phenomenon and it is the fact that dislikes help videos in YouTube. Believe it or not, it's true. Some people think that a dislike means minus one like, but it doesn't. A dislike means one more person watched your video and felt passionately enough about the content to interact with said video and that actually helps so those of you that like these videos please do not tell the dislikers not to dislike because they're helping the channel as well and speaking of helping i wanted to help golden get what they asked for so i pinged a comment all right good now the rest of you i have to say this this one comment embodies the feeling that I hope a lot of you have and the feeling that I have every time I make these videos. And that is that I'm speaking to you as a friend, as a fellow fan of a really fun game, right? I'll be honest, Clash of Clans is fun, but it's the community. It is you guys, the people I refer to as the Galafam. You're the reason that I keep making videos, okay? The game, yes, it's been fun, it's great, I do occasionally get burned out, but I don't get burned out on interacting with you guys. That is why I love reading the comments, and of course, that is why I love live streaming. Again, try to stop by if you can. I loved this next comment, and I actually watched the YouTube video by Itsu where he mentioned even the gemmers aren't probably maxed yet. Uh, I did think that was pretty funny, and I'm sure Itsu knows that I gem to max immediately every single time. Because if it's not Gem to Max, it's not Galadon. It's so true. I need to like get that tattooed on my body somewhere, all right? I tell you what, if this video gets 10 million views, I will get that tattooed on my body, okay? That is my deal to you. Uh, <laughs> my wife's going to be like, what? That better not get 10 million. Okay, hold on. Uh, it's like tradition, but there's no way this tradition could be a return investment. Oh, this guy's worried that I'm losing money. Thanks, James for uh, your concern, but uh, yeah, you know what? I'm a big boy, I can take care of myself, I promise. I'm not rolling myself into bankruptcy by making gem to max videos. But if you wanted to help make sure I don't, you could always use code Galadon. And yes, I can always think of a segue for any possible situation. And I do love Noha's beautiful quote right here, use code Galadon, it's not just a creator code, it's a way of life. Make it a habit and the gem to max videos will continue, I promise. Uh, I'm using sneaky goblins and my clanmates think I'm cheating. It's so true. They're so strong. They are like cheating. I agree 100%. But honestly, sneaky goblins are a sneaky way for Supercell to make farming OP to make people play more. That's, that's all it is. Uh, this next one, I had to move up here because as you can see, I couldn't put this comment on the bottom of the screen. 
And as always, thank you guys that are watching the older videos. It definitely gives me some nostalgia as well. I think back to all the old great times of Town Hall 11 coming out, or maybe when I used to be in Lost Phoenix. And speaking of, yes, my favorite video of all time is called Honey Attack for Me, I'm in Jail. If you guys have not seen it, then you just have to go see it. You can just Google Honey Attack for Me, I'm in Jail, and you will find it. And while you're there watching my older videos, would you mind giving episode one of No Cash Clash just one more quick view? Because, yes, back in the first episode, I said, it's not like this video is going to get a million views or anything. And here we are. It's closing in. It's well over 900,000. Let's do it. For Stud Muffin, get ready, brace yourself, hold my gems. Of course, they're going to add more pet levels at Town Hall 14. It's just a matter of time. Although I do think that it will probably happen in 2022, but then again, I've I, I've been wrong before. Billy the Kid thought like I did and said, I thought only noobs used sneaky goblins. I guess I was wrong. It's true. Everybody should use them. But speaking of noobs, some people decided that it's getting boring to watch sneaky goblins. Well, guess what? I, I, uh, I just, no, I'm just done. Okay. In fact, you know what? It's time. We're going to go ahead and turn on troll mode. And that means from this point forward, any comments that I reply to in today's video should be taken with a grain of salt. And what I mean is not just that I'm salty, but you know, I don't mean to offend anybody. Some of these are just funny. Some of these are harsh. I'm not trying to put anybody down. It's just sometimes it's more fun to uh, not just leave a standard normal reply to a comment. All right. With that being said, Thank you, those of you that listen to me talk about use code GALADON. If you like the videos and you know that they come to you free every single day, then using the creator code also is free, then it's kind of a nice way to thank your creators for making the effort to get this stuff done, right? Okay, uh, Rooney wants me to play a new game, so if you guys want to get together, we will go play a new game and drop Clash of Clans all together. And then uh, this comment, I you know, some of the... I, is it Google Translate? What is going on here? I don't know if school's failing these kids or if it's Google Translate failing them. And then there is this viewer. Talk about entitlement. I mean, so that's, you, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just, okay. I'm going to be patient. I realize I give away a lot of gold passes and not everybody can get one. I'm doing my best though. I promise. And, oh, oh, we're back to the Gem to Max video. Okay, now I will say that my Gem to Max videos are probably the most controversial videos on my channel, which is kind of weird, right? I'm, I'm some dude making videos about a mobile game, and any of my videos being controversial just strikes me as strange. But some people take issue with me spending money in Clash of Clans, or spending a lot of money in Clash of Clans, but this is YouTube, bruh. I mean, that's what happens over here so much. There's so much excess, but at the same time, you know, I think I do set myself apart from other creators in that I do this for the enjoyment of all of the tens of thousands of viewers that are going to watch the Gem to Max videos. And then also we do do a significant amount of work that benefits charities and wounded veterans and homeless and hungry people. So yes, please keep that in mind as well. I don't just throw this money out the window. I do it because the viewers want to see it and it all works out together. Uh, you know, just think of it like a little tiny mini Mr. Beast. You probably hate him too, don't you? Next up, Mason. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm getting trolled here, okay? Do I need to even sit down and explain this one? I don't think I do. I, you know what? No, let's move on. Next one. Uh, Joel Troll? Troll Joel? See, come on. How can you think you're not when you most definitely are? That was obvious, okay? Moving on. Uh, last comment. Oh, yes. Somebody trying to out me and show that I am preparing my videos before they're released. Well, guess what? Yes, I am, and I'm going on vacation soon, and there will be some more videos that will be like that as well, and I'm sorry that that is the way it has to be, but otherwise I would have literally no life. I can't possibly prepare the videos every day, not the way that I make videos, because I take too much time and too much care in putting the videos together, but thank you again for watching. Okay, so this is the Easter egg that came with the last update that many of you, I'm sure, now, I don't watch enough other content creators, but I'm sure this one has been covered into the ground, right? 
you guys can tell me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure every flippin' YouTuber has covered. Oh my gosh, the P.E.K.K.A. chases butterflies. I can't believe it. Look at this. It's the most amazing answer rank you've ever seen. So yeah, let's all calm down. It's cool, right? And if you haven't seen it, it's here just to remind you to make sure to train a P.E.K.K.A. and to turn on sound effects because it is cool. And Easter eggs are amazing in Clash of Clans. And I will tell you a super secret other Easter egg that you should watch out for because in the past, many, many times, the Clash of Clans team has discussed doing this one Easter egg where one out of every one million mortar balls that shoots from a mortar will actually be a bunny. No, I'm serious. That is something they have discussed putting in the game forever, much like this one. Butterfly. Which is really, really cool. I thought this was just amazing when I saw it with my own eyes and heard it with my own ears for the very first time. And I hope I'm not spoiling anything by saying that you should probably keep an eye on the mortar balls because that has been discussed. And if anybody actually gets footage of it, I'm offering a $100 gift card reward. Butterfly. If you can find me your mortar shooting a rabbit out of it instead of a cannonball. So I don't know, I, I doubt it's in the game, but you never know, Supercell is pretty slick about these things and Butterfly. they sometimes don't announce really cool stuff that comes to Clash. And I would love to see them do more Easter eggs like this and like the rabbit out of the mortar because I just think it adds so much to the player experience. And I hope in some weird convoluted way, me making these videos about the comments adds to your experience as a subscriber and a viewer of the channel because I do sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate all of you. I consider you fam, you are my Gala fam, and I especially appreciate the ones who just made it all the way to the end of the episode, that's right! You are the true Gala fam, the ones that I love, think about, and appreciate every single moment of every single day, so get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, be kind to of other people, animals, and the planet. I will see you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks! Galidon, am I part of the true hashtag Galifan? Of course you are, Peter. Everybody that hears this is.